What if I told you that me losing over 50 pounds, getting six pack abs, and boosting your confidence with beautiful women all share the same secret principle? I'm JT Tran, and I was working at Harvard and Yale, and been featured on the BBC, ABC, and more coaching single Asian men on how to meet, attract, and date the women of their dreams. So let's get into it. Here's the secret to being as consistent as I have been for over two decades and racking up some truly unforgettable experiences with women that younger me can only dream about. And it's all about embracing a new identity. Just like recently, when I embraced the identity of someone who was gonna get ripped and get a six pack, you need to embrace the identity of a confident, social, and outgoing man capable of attracting high quality women. When I was tired of my lack of dating success, I knew I had to will a new identity into existence. Instead of being someone who was shy, nervous, and scared around women, or someone who blamed society, the media, racism, women, whatever excuses I could find, I decided to become someone who is social, someone who goes out to meet people, enjoys the ambience of bars and clubs, and regularly talks to and romances beautiful women of all races and heights. And this just didn't work for me. Let's take my client Sebastian, for example. When he first joined our long-term training program, he was stuck in a rut just like many of you might be right now. He lacked consistency and felt like his identity didn't match up with the kind of man he wanted to be. But through our program, Sebastian didn't just triple his romantic results. He went from zero to landing his first perfect 10 girl. And how did he do it? By embracing a new identity and committing to consistency just like I did. I have almost tripled the amount of romantic encounters that I have versus when I first started. Through my advanced Tinder game, I was able to fuck my very, very first perfect 10. It was, it was awesome. In the beginning, when I was learning how to approach and talk to beautiful tall women, I committed to being the guy who goes out four to six times a week. No questions asked. I didn't allow myself the option to back out. I didn't ask, do I wanna go out tonight? I told myself, I go out tonight because that's who I am now. Mm -hmm. Consistently isn't just a practice, mm -hmm. it's a state of being, mm -hmm. it's who you are. Now, that doesn't mean ignoring your physical and emotional feedback when things get tough or when you're pushing yourself too hard, but understand this, mm -hmm. consistency doesn't owe you ease. It's mm -hmm. not always going to feel motivating or exciting. Sometimes you just need to show up and put in the work because it serves your greater good. This practice is what helps you become a better, more confident, more successful man. When I first started, I wasn't naturally outgoing and confident. Like many Asian Americans, I wasn't taught how to be outwardly social. And society often tells us we can't be. But to operate at a higher level than what you're used to, you sometimes have to rely on rigidity, on discipline. It became easier for me to consistently go out and approach women when I let go of the idea that I needed to feel a certain way every time. I didn't need to be in the mood to go out and talk to attractive women because this practice was about more than just a momentary feeling. It was about becoming the man I wanted to be. And the good news? As I got better, the women started responding positively. The more I practiced, the more fun I had. And that positive feedback loop kept me going. But here's the thing. In the beginning, when you're still working to get over your approach anxiety, you don't give yourself the option of asking, do I want to? Your wants aren't always your needs when it comes to your goals. I had to reframe consistency as not something I was, I was striving for, but as a state of being. This is just who I am now. Of course, I always advocate for listening to yourself, being kind to yourself, and practicing grace. You're going to re get rejected. I mean, I certainly did, and that's okay. It's part of the process. But consistency is what serves your greater good. I did let go of my old habits, staying at home, playing video games, engaging self-sabotaging behaviors, and not taking responsibility for my situation. I stopped blaming the media, women, and society. I couldn't afford to listen to that part of myself during my time of evolution and training. It took some rigidity, but through that, I dedicated myself to a process. I learned how much that process was serving me, and I accepted that being good with women and having fun adventures with beautiful girls, this is just my life now. It's something I deserve. Similarly, in my journey of losing 50 pounds in one year, I learned that whether it's about learning confidence, managing social anxiety, or working out to build muscle and lose weight, it's mm -hmm. about consistency and establishing a new identity. It's not about the daily fluctuations, mm -hmm. emotions, and motivation. I embrace the identity of someone who was making healthy choices, works out regularly, and prioritizes well-being. 
Sebastian did the same. He embraced the identity of a man who deserved the best in his day life, and through consistent effort and commitment, he was able to achieve results that surpassed his wildest dreams. So start evolving, embrace your identity as a social, outgoing, masculine man. Go after your goals today. And if you're ready to take your dating game to the next level and break free from the stereotypes, don't wait. Take action now. Our 12 months of Fury long-term training program helps Sebastian and it can help you too. Whether you're looking to triple your romantic results or land your first perfect 10, we've got the tools to get you there. Be sure to like and follow me if you want to learn more about self-improvement and confidence. Link is in the bio. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.